आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ ओके सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन सेज दैट इलस्ट्रेट बाय टेकिंग एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स एंड नॉन ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स दैट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स आर लार्जली बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट आर ट्रांजिशन एंड नॉन ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स सो ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स आर बेसिकली डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स विद लिटल एक्सेप्शन दैट जस्ट अ लिटिल डिफरेंस इन डी ब्लॉक एंड ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स बेसिकली वी कंसिडर देम टू बी डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स इट सेल्फ एंड नॉन ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स विल बी अदर दैन दोज सो लेट एस टेक एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट मी राइट इट ओवर हेयर so first of all let us consider for transition elements let me write transition so uh, let me write basically the d group elements so let us take third group itself so scandium titanium b chromium magnesium ferrous that is uh, iron cobalt nickel copper and finally zinc so these are the d group elements now let us write their electronic configuration so basically it starts with 4s 2 3d 1 or uh, this is 3d 1 then we have 3d 2 3d 3 3d 4 3d 5 3d 6 7 3d 8 3d 9 and 3d 10 basically uh, there are exceptions there are exceptions at this copper and chromium but we are not considering them since uh, as we move down the group when we move to other uh, d group elements other transition elements then there are more exceptions so we are just considering the general one so generally this should be the uh, ideal ideal electronic configuration now over here we can see that when the unpaired electrons are increasing we can see that over here we have only one unpaired electrons and at magnesium we have five unpaired electrons after that again pairing starts so at this let me correct it so at Whereas where where it is 3d6, the unpaired electrons will again start to reduce, and eventually at uh, zinc we will have no unpaired electrons again. So over here what happens is the oxidation state of uh, scandium is basically plus one, and since it is d, uh, it can further extend its oxidation state since d uh, weakened d orbitals can do that. So even plus three is possible, so plus one to plus three is possible, and as we go on moving over here, the oxidation oxidation states keep on increasing. and when we reach magnesh mag uh, magnes that is mn plus 7 oxidation can be seen and as we again move over here we again start uh, seeing a de decline by re reaching copper plus 2 is prominent and similarly for zinc plus 2 is seen so we can clearly see that when there is uh, less unpaired electrons the electro uh, the oxidation state is less and when there are more uh, unpaired electrons for example in the case of magnes magnes the uh, oxidation state is higher So we can clearly see that there is a relation between the electronic configuration and the oxidation state. Now let us see the example for with non-transition elements as well. So let me write non-transition over here. Non-transition elements. So for the non-transition elements, let us consider period second period elements. So basically, let me write them. So it starts with lithium. Uh, lithium is basically group one. So we have group one. Let me write it properly. This is group one, and this is second period. So we have lithium. After lithium, we have beryllium. So that is B. Then uh, this is group second. After that, we have group thirteen, which is boron. After boron, we have carbon, and after that, we have nitrogen, oxygen, uh, fluorine, and then finally neon. So these are the elements. Now let us write their outermost electronic configuration. So it will be. For this, this is one s two, two s one. So let me write only two s one. For beryllium, it is two s two. For boron, it is let me write it properly. For boron, it is two s two, two p one. After that, two p two, two p three, four, five, and six. So these these are the electronic configurations. Are talking about their oxidation state. So lithium has plus one, beryllium plus two. Basically, group two. I'm just talking about the group. So if we take, even take, we are taking the example. So we can also say it for the group. For the group also, this is same. Then uh, coming to boron. So basically, boron and other 
group 13 elements can show plus 3 oxidation state for example we have seen aluminium shows, shows plus 3 so al plus 3 is very famous after that coming to carbon so carbon can show plus 4 as well as plus 2 uh, for boron as well for group 13 as well let me write group 13 over here plus 1 is also prominent and how plus 1 basically if 2p1 only 1 electron from p orbital is lost then plus 1 if all the 3 electrons are lost then plus 3 similarly for carbon plus 4 uh, plus 2 it can also show minus 4 but that is very difficult because uh, it shares electron in most cases that's why plus 4 so after this in group 15 basically let me write the groups as well this is group 15 this was 14 this is 16 17 and 18 so over here uh, since we can see that uh, it is it is having three uh, electrons in p orbital and it requires three more so taking electrons that means it will show minus so minus three is a prominent oxidation state for group 15 after this minus two minus one and uh, for noble gases it is zero you can clearly see that again uh, the electronic configuration or is is related with the oxidation state so with this we complete our solution thank you क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मेन्स और एडवांस के लेवल तक 10 मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर